2012, and let's get straight to the Human Push headlines. Australian triathlon season is officially underway as race number one of the Super Sprint Gatorade Triathlon Series was held today. Located in St. Kilda, which is a suburb of Melbourne, this series always attracts all the top elite triathletes throughout Australia, and this year was no exception. In the men's division, Clayton Fettel led everybody out of the water and flew into T2 first, but hot on his heels was Peter Kerr, the recent Noosa winner. Kerr was too strong for him, closing with a 16:26 run to Fettel's 16:35 and nabbed himself a 10-second victory. In the women's division, Penny Hoskin turned in a 102.15, which was more than a minute up on second place finisher. Jakob Fuglesang signed with Astana in August. He's glad he did. Last year, he rode beneath the Schleck brothers for Radio Shack Nissan, but this weekend, Astana announced that he is the lead man for the 2013 Tour de France. This means they have Vincenzo Nibali heading up to Giro and Fuglesang heading up the Tour de France. Look for a stand to maybe put some wins on the board this year. Alistair Brownlee won the gold medal in the London Olympics for the triathlon. His closing 10,000 meter run speed was a 29.07. He's now wondering if he could compete in a standalone 10,000 meter race against the world's best runners. He might just try to qualify and do that. He's thinking about trying to qualify for the 2014 Commonwealth Games in the 10,000 meters. In the Olympics this summer, Mo Farah ran a 27.30, which was 97 seconds faster than what Brownlee did. However, Brownlee swam and bike prior to that. He's still thinking about it, but it looks like he might try to make that, uh, he might try to make that transition and see if he can qualify for the 10,000 meter run, in addition to triathlon for the 2014 Commonwealth Games in Glasgow, Scotland. And finally, American sprinter Allison Felix was named IAAF Athlete of the Year for her absolutely stunning performance in the London Olympics this summer. She won three gold medals. With her trophy, she also gets a check for $100,000.